Breaking news. Putin is Russia's one and only hope for progress and strengthening. While acknowledging that there are still issues that need to be addressed, such as slum clearance, the building of kindergartens and schools, and the shortage of medical personnel, Russian President Vladimir Putin is confident that the country can do so. At a meeting with regional leaders elected in September, Putin said, There are many questions, but I want to emphasize this. We have all the capabilities for solutions, no matter how strange it may seem to some external onlookers, to those who have expected to see everything collapse here. The economy, on the other hand, is picking up speed. Putin boasted that the country's industrial sector was functioning better than it had in a long time, that agricultural output was reaching new heights, and that the construction sector was expanding at a rate not seen since Soviet times. We have everything we need to successfully move forward on this path and build a stronger nation. In his address to regional leaders, he brought their attention to the trust that was displayed by the people in the course of the elections. Both the turnout and the level of support showed how much people believe in us as a group and in you in particular. Putin remarked, they trust with a large extent with their lives and with their destiny. He listed slum clearance, the building of preschools and elementary schools, and a lack of medical professionals as issues that have yet to be resolved. There are not enough preschool childcare facilities, parents still have to send their children to schools that operate on three shifts a day, there are not enough ambulances, problems in the labor market have not been resolved, and there are still demography-related issues, Putin said. He thinks that local government's effectiveness will be crucial to the country's progress. Putin hoped the regional heads of state were productive in their endeavors. In most cases, comments will be approved if they are relevant to the discussion and do not contain any abusive language. All opinions expressed in published comments are those of the individual commenters, and are not necessarily shared by the business standard. On Saturday, Slovakia holds an early parliamentary election that pits a liberal pro-West newcomer against the populist former Prime Minister Robert Fico, who ran on a platform of clear pro-Russia and anti-American sentiment, in Bratislava, Slovakia. On Saturday, Slovaks will go to the polls early for parliamentary elections, pitting a liberal pro-West newcomer against the populist former Prime Minister Robert Fico, who ran on a platform of clear pro-Russia and anti-American sentiment. If Fico's return to power is successful, his leftist smur, or direction, party has pledged to end Slovakia's military support for Ukraine in Russia's war. The vote in Slovakia is crucial because it could set the country on a new course away from Kyiv and toward Moscow, which would weaken the EU and NATO. The relatively new liberal pro-Western progressive Slovakia is FICO's main rival. The victor of an election usually gets to form a government first. There are a total of 150 parliamentary seats up for grabs.